Hey guys, welcome back. So today I thought we'd make a short video on basic audio cleaning up with Audacity. Audacity can do way more than I'll ever be able to comprehend or ever need to use, but it's a really good audio tool for just basic audio cleanup. So let's just kind of jump in this. Now, it won't let me be able to show you this, but I had the problem with on Linux. You see it right here where you select your recording device. If you have it on default and you're getting a lot of clicking or clacking or something of that sort, move it to the actual uh, device, your actual mic, and it will work a lot better. I have a file over here on my desktop of that, and I'll just show you an example of it when it was left on default. At least for me, it was like this. So I... The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So if you hear, that was Wait, you had a lot of like static or something in the background that's a pain to remove so make sure you set it to your actual device so it removes any of that nonsense so let me zoom you into the Dicity. now it won't let me play any of our things because we're recording with Audacity. so we're just I got a second recording and I'll actually play that for you The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Now you see that was using my actual mic input in here. I have it set. And it sounded a lot cleaner. So that's the file we're going to be working with right here. So I always like to give myself lots of space on each side of the clip. Give it a good couple seconds on both sides. That way you don't get the, you know, the clicking. And then you start talking and it's like you can't remove that. I don't know if you could hear my mic, but my encoder just overloaded. So we're going to start. We're going to select that space on each side. So now we've removed that. You just uh, click, drag, you know, click, drag, and your delete key. You know, your back key on your keyboard to delete it. So now we have that. I always like to come in here. We're going to control A to select the whole track, and then we're going to amplify. And we are going to amplify this all the way up. We don't want it to clip. We just want it to go all the way up. Now, the reason I want it all the way up, we're going. To, it's going to make the static way more noticeable. So what I'm going to do is we got this. And now if I play this, it's going to be pretty loud. I normally don't upload my videos this loud. But the static, if you zoom in on the static, you notice it's pretty noticeable. It's not a smooth line. So now what we need to do is we need to click and drag and select some of the static, a couple seconds worth. And then we're going to go under noise reduction under effects. And then we need to, you might need to change these settings. But this is what I found works best with my mic and setup. Uh, this is a new air 800, new air NW800 or something like that that I used. But I set my noise reduction to... 38 decibels and sensitivity to 2 decibels and f frequency smoothing to 16. This is what works best with my mic. So if you want to copy these down, play with them around from a bit, see what works best with your setup. So now that we have a couple seconds selected of our static, we're going to go and get noise profile. So once that's done, we select the, the whole track now with control A and we go into noise reduction again and then we hit OK. Now, if you notice, it got a lot smoother. Depending on how long your track is, it might take a couple of seconds to do this. So now that we have the static removed, we're going to select it again and go under Effects, Amplify. And I'm going to set this to negative 1.5 because you don't want it to be all the way up because it'll drive some people nuts. So now we just do that. It'll lower the track. The track did get lower. And now we are going to export this. So just export. It's under File, Export, and I'm going to export as an MP3. I always like to set my quality to insane or what not. And we're going to rename this to 2 of 2. And we just hit OK. We mean save. And then we hit OK. So now we got that exported. I'll play this real quick for you. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Now if you hear this sounds much cleaner than it used to. So it's just how it used to sound. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. 
Now, if you notice, the audio was down really low, like really low. For most people on headsets, it can have it all the way cranked up and you won't be able to hear it very well. And the static has been mainly removed. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I know it's short, kind of basic. Some people, it took me a while to figure out this noise reduction tool. Like I would come out here, select the whole track, and I would hit OK, and then like nothing would happen. That's because I didn't quite understand. I obviously didn't read this part. <laughs> so that was my problem. So please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. We're trying to get a thousand subscribers before the end of this year. I've been trying to hit it mid this year. So you can really help out by subscribing. See you guys later.